Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel for my online analytical chemistry tutorial. I am Professor Angeline C. Gomez, your online tutor. Today we are going to solve analysis problem in which both volatilization and precipitation techniques were applied. Now this is the problem. The hydrogen sulfide in 80 gram sample of crude petroleum was removed by distillation and uncollected in a solution of cadmium chloride. The precipitated cadmium sulfide was then filtered, washed, and ignited to cadmium sulfate. Calculate the percentage of hydrogen sulfide in the sample if 0.125 grams of cadmium sulfate was recovered. Okay? So, our sample is crude petroleum. We use 80 grams of this sample for the analysis. Now, this crude petroleum contains trace amount of hydrogen sulfide. And we are asked to calculate or to determine uh, how many percent of hydrogen sulfide is present in this crude petroleum. Okay? So, this is now the flow of the analysis. This is our sample. Our sample contains trace amount of hydrogen sulfide. We separate hydrogen sulfide from crude petroleum by volatilization technique. Okay, the, the, the volatilization technique used here is distillation. Why distillation? We use distillation because this hydrogen sulfide is a volatile substance. And during distillation, this hydrogen sulfide volatilizes together with the distillate. Now, this is our receiver. Our receiver contains aqueous solution of cadmium chloride. Okay? Now, this cadmium chloride acts as a collector for hydrogen sulfide. Now, during distillation, this Okay, this is what happens during distillation. Now, when this hydrogen sulfide reaches uh, the receiver, this reaction takes place. No? The hydrogen sulfide in aqueous solution ionizes to hydrogen ion and sulfide ion. Also, this cadmium chloride here since our solution is, in, is an aqueous solution, then this cadmium chloride ionizes also to cadmium ion and chloride ion. Now what happens during the reaction is, it is the cadmium ion that reacts with the sulfide ion forming cadmium sulfide precipitate. No? So naka, uh, uh, during the reaction, Nakai makita nga black precipitate nga misitle down dito sa reaction vessel. Okay? That black precipitate is the precipitate of cadmium sulfide. Now, when the precipitation reaction is complete, we filter our solution. The purpose of filtration is to separate the cadmium sulfide precipitate from the filtrate. And then after filtration, we wash the precipitate. The purpose of washing is to eliminate uh, water-soluble substances that co-precipitate with cadmium sulfide. And then after washing, we ignited the cadmium sulfide uh, precipitate and this cadmium sulfide precipitate is converted into cadmium uh, sulfide. Uh, cadmium sulfate. No? These things happens only at high temperature. Okay. Now, how do we calculate percentage or percent hydrogen sulfide? We calculate percentage hydrogen sulfide using this formula. Percent H2S or hydrogen sulfide is equal to mass of hydrogen sulfide over the mass of sample times 100. Now, take note class, the mass of hydrogen sulfide is not given. But we can calculate the mass of hydrogen sulfide from the mass of cadmium sulfate precipitate. So, the mass of hydrogen sulfide is equal to the mass of cadmium sulfate precipitate times the mass or the formula mass of hydrogen sulfide over the formula mass of cadmium sulfate. Okay? 
Kasi in gravimetry, to calculate the mass of analyte, uh, the mass of analyte is equal to the mass of the precipitate. The mass of precipitate is the one we measured in an analytical balance. And then we multiply this mass of precipitate with the formula mass of our analyte over the formula mass of the precipitate. Okay? That is the general form. But of course, you have to consider the mole ratio of the precipitate and the analyte. Okay? In this case, our analyte is hydrogen sulfide and our precipitate is cadmium sulfate. And cadmium sulfate here form 1 is to 1 mole ratio with hydrogen uh, sulfide. To confirm that, we have to trace our reaction. So this is our cadmium sulfate. This cadmium sulfate form 1 is to 1 mole ratio with cadmium sulfide. And cadmium sulfide here form 1 is to 1 mole ratio with sulfide ion. And this sulfide ion form 1 is to 1 mole ratio with hydrogen sulfide. Therefore, cadmium sulfate form 1 is to 1 uh, mole ratio uh, with hydrogen sulfide. That's why mentally here, naata dapat diri 1 over 1, representing 1 mole hydrogen sulfide and 1 mole cadmium sulfate. Okay? So, we are going to substitute this to our original equation. So, this is now the new equation generated. Okay? Now, here, our numerator is mass of hydrogen sulfide. And the mass of hydrogen sulfide is equal to this. No? Now, in this equation, our uh, numerator is the mass of cadmium sulfate and the formula mass of hydrogen sulfide. So, it is positioned uh, in our new equation no? in the numerator. Now, our denominator here is the mass of sample and the formula mass of cadmium sulfate. So, we have here the uh, mass of sample and the formula mass. Okay, by the way, formula mass and formula, uh, formula weight are the same okay so substitute all the values this is the mass of our precipitate 0 0.125 grams times uh, the formula mass of hydrogen sulfide which is 34.08 grams divided by the mass of sample which is 80.0 grams times the formula mass of cadmium sulfate 208.47 grams per mole so grams cadmium sulfate grams cadmium sulfate cancel what is left here is grams of hydrogen sulfide over grams sample times 100 so simplifying this using calculator the result is percent hydrogen sulfide is equal to 0 0.0255 and this can be rounded off to 0 0.026 percent hydrogen sulfide okay so i hope my discussion is clear okay now if you like this video Please like and share. So thank you for viewing.